Hi everyone and uh, thanks for checking out my uh, channel. Uh, I'm going to have a look uh, tonight at uh, precious uh, metals. Um, uh, if you followed my uh, recent videos, I was looking um, at that very large correction uh, we had. I mean large, not necessarily by the, uh, the percentage, but by the time it took to realize. Um, and uh, last week was very interesting and also uh, next week will probably be very interesting because we will get either confirmation that the correction might keep going lower or we might get to buy entry point and uh, buy signals on uh, across all the precious metals so yeah uh, let's get starting and we're gonna look at uh, gold uh, so gold is not the strongest uh, in my opinion um, a couple of reasons for this um, I'll start with the quote report and gold we can see uh, during that drop we had uh, from uh, roughly 2000 uh, to 1900 uh, we had increased open interest uh, and also the management they did reduce long position and uh, increase short uh, we can see the swap dealers also reduce short uh, position so still comfortably sitting at really very high uh, level but uh, still when we look at the charts uh, it's still unchanged uh, somehow we can see there's a clear divergence between the price moving up uh, in the 2000 area and, uh, and the, on the quote report the match money will keep reducing the net long position so that doesn't really work um, well for continuation of that move but um, looking really at the charts uh, and the price action we had last week it did invalidate the inverted cup and end all figure we had uh, because it didn't break down but instead that trend line did work perfectly holding the price uh, and we got that strong uh, bounce back end of the week uh, that did uh, come toward that uh, trend line so it is still possible of course that we, it will break uh, down uh, that triangle we have here uh, might actually end uh, let's say 8th of September so that's uh, yeah very much likely yeah within a week or, uh, in a week or 10 days somewhere uh, but it could of course uh, exit before uh, my opinion and I'll be uh, looking for this should we actually get a neat closure on the four hours roughly above the 1990 uh, uh, level I think it would be a uh, clean uh, buy signal that we can quite easily uh, take uh, because in that case uh, that trend line will act as a support regardless what's happening next uh, we're going to get a break outside that trend line so that's showing the momentum is picking up uh, and in terms of the court reports um, what's the strategy the funds are actually using on gold I'm not sure doesn't look really clear to me but uh, regardless of this and regardless of that divergence uh, that we're having here we might just hope for the, the funds to start actually loading up on uh, their position and helping basically the move to continue higher uh, so um, short entry I think at that point are extremely risky uh, can, can be uh, attempted at that level here as if we drop to the one hour we can see struggling on the momentum here we have a small divergence that could call for another pullback to the 1940 somewhere there potentially extension to 1920 uh, that could be actually a long entry that could actually work uh, nicely and be a little bit more comfortable than buying the breakout uh, but i'm quite comfortable that breakout could actually uh, work uh, well and be relatively safe but i think patience is needed uh, entering long here i believe is a bit risky um, Monday is the last day of the month so there's gonna be some profit taking uh, and uh, yeah it would not be ideal to get stuck in that position but strong uh, pullback and correction or breakdown lower than 1900 at this point of time uh, I think it's highly um, improbable it's always possible of course but the probability in my opinion is really low but I would prefer to have a nice uh, entry point somewhere above 1900 or potentially on that breakout because we are going to move uh, higher uh, and very much see all time high and break higher certainly should we actually go there uh, looking now at uh, silver silver is actually looking stronger uh, especially because the code report doesn't actually show the same uh, thing I mean we're still having some slight divergence as well in that move but somehow it did pick up uh, about two weeks ago uh, from that when the drop went to 26 and we got the fund did start to actually increase the net long position uh, it's quite obvious in the report uh, we can see that during the drop we had uh, dropping open interests 
uh, but also the match money did increase the, the long position again, reducing shorts. Um, and, uh, and yeah, even swap dealers are actually also reducing their uh, edging positions. Uh, so that's definitely pointing to some strengths uh, in silver here during that move. And probably the reason why it didn't actually break below the 26 uh, level. So at this point of time, we're having still these two trend lines that are running here. Uh, and I believe that one's got a fair sh chance to be the one that's actually uh, not gonna break any lower. Uh, so we're looking at 27 to be the floor here. Um, of course, should we get to the end of the triangle and break down, that's a different story. We may actually revisit much lower and potentially that trend line, 21.922 dollars uh, figure. But I think it's low probability as well at this point. Uh, and I'm now expecting more likely some breakdown. So similar to gold, I'll be watching for long entry. Uh, I think a break above 28.3 will be more comfortable on the four hours. So a close over there and waiting potentially for another candle to close higher, just in case we would get uh, caught inside some uh, false breakouts. But that support is giving some stop loss that's quite comfortable. Also with that level 26.5, it's not too far away. So I think that's, that's a manageable uh, trade. And uh, finally looking at uh, Platinum. Uh, Platinum is looking probably the weakest uh, of the three, uh, which is probably because it's more linked to the industry and the economy, but we can see uh, um, that we're having the same structure, that triangle uh, trend line here, but the way the price action did move is not that convincing. Uh, so we could see uh, in the previous weeks that we got that large uh, bear flag that built uh, from roughly 1000 down to 930. That did break down and reach almost the target, so stopping at 900. Uh, and now we are looking at a similar configuration with also a bear flag and some rising uh, wedge. Uh, so looking at the pennant as well but still since that breakdown so we could be looking in case we go down from that uh, triangle here uh, to the lower end which is 880 uh, and the issue here is that it would actually break below that trend line that we would lose support uh, which is clearly a bit of a problem we also still having a large divergence that's not been cleared from the bottom I mean arguably could actually go down to that level here uh, and that drop might not have been enough to shake uh, all the long position out. So there's still a fair uh, possibility that we could actually go and visit 8.50. Uh, but again, it would actually challenge the trend a little bit too much to, to be really comfortable. We would need some solid buy signal to actually get in uh, at that level. Uh, the other option, of course, which is possible if, the, if gold and silver are actually breaking out, is an exit uh, outside uh, that triangle breaking out uh, and I think at that point we're looking at very similar very similar to gold and silver at some really clean uh, four hours close uh, probably above that previous uh, sharp move here uh, so that would be 960 uh, as a closure and waiting for another candle to actually continue higher and and pick up on the momentums and break that trend line for good. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be a very interesting week. Um, I don't have position on either, any of these uh, metals at the moment, but I'm waiting with the cash for either long entry, um, either at lower level or higher level. Uh, short entry are uh, not really uh, something I'll be looking at. I was definitely looking uh, in the previous weeks at that uh, structure. Sorry. Looking at the potential uh, cup, uh, inverted cup and ender uh, pattern we could actually have developing, there could be a longer term reversal pattern we could have, like for example here, uh, around 26 and 28, but that didn't happen. Uh, don't believe this is will play out uh, again, and should we see some correction, that trend line should actually do a rather uh, pretty good job to actually hold the price uh, and help uh, further continuation to, to break outside that triangle. It's valid for silver, I believe it's valid for gold uh, as well, and to some extent it could become valid for platinum, but there's a little bit more risk in here because the price action is, in my opinion, a little bit uh, weaker. So yeah, that's all. Um, I'll uh, check this out again on, uh, on Wednesday probably, uh, and uh, since then, wish you safe trading and uh, speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.